Okay, so we've talked about how to choose the right type of graph for your data, which depends on the types of variables that you're working with. And now I'm just going to briefly talk about um, another idea that's going to reappear a bit later on in the course. And that's this idea of populations versus samples. Okay, so um, here are those uh, anorexia data again. Um, so across those different therapy types. Um, and so these data came from that total of 72 anorexia patients. So they're not all of the, the poor people that have suffered from anorexia in the world, right? They're just a small subset of those people. So um, we're, we're not studying the entire world population of people suffering from anorexia. And so in statistical terms, when you're only working with a subset of individuals, then that group is referred to as a sample. And in contrast, then a statistical population is the entire group of people that are of interest. And um, so one of the concepts that I've talked about a little bit so far uh, that uh, we like to think about a lot as scientists is the concept of generalizability. So are we just interested in understanding these 72 patients? Or are we actually interested in something more general about, in general, you know, will these different types of therapies have different impacts on patient outcomes? So overall, most of the time we're interested in uh, understanding something about a population, um, but we can only uh, sample from that population. Um, but our goal is to gain some type of general understanding about what's going on with that entire population. But unfortunately, we're limited in time and money. So in a lot of cases, it's not possible to sample an entire population. Sometimes it is. Most of the time, it's not. So our sample can provide an estimate for an entire population. And so we're going to dive into talking about statistical tests fairly soon. And the main question that statistical tests are interested in asking is the question of whether our treatment groups are drawn from different populations. So I think I can kind of help to solidify uh, this idea about where statistical tests come in. If we uh, take a look at our um, anorexia example in kind of a different format, um, so basically as a flowchart here. So what's happened in this experiment is we start out with a population of people suffering from anorexia, and then uh, we sample from that population so we're only taking a subset of people from that population, and we need to do this randomly, right, so that, uh, as Dr. Burke pointed out, so that we're not uh, putting everyone, you know, from the same country into family therapy and people from a different country into cognitive behavioral therapy, et cetera, right? So at this stage, um, our sampling, so our samples uh, need to be uh, random from our population. Then we're applying on a, a treatment. So, um, you know, we're, we're applying uh, what's happened here. That's our um, explanatory variable here on um, the type of therapy that people get. And then um, statistically, what we're going to be asking now is, um, are these groups that we've created now reflective of individuals in different populations? So that's what we're doing with a statistical test.